Hi there, Wildcats. I'm Misty Meadows from CDA Media. And I'm Jaden Red, bringing the latest news of what's happening here at the woods. During the months of April, a solar eclipse crossed North America. The entire eclipse lasted approximately 4 minutes and 27 seconds. The plan was to give the students at Side Woods the opportunity to watch this historic moment. But due to weather, those plans changed. Ethan Mao has more to this story. On April 8th, Texas experienced its first total solar eclipse since 1878. Schools across the CFISD district made plans for students to view this event. Originally, we had planned for the entire school to be able to leave class, go outside with some special solar viewers that we had purchased, and watch the eclipse just to experience it all together. A total solar eclipse only occurs every 375 years in the same location, making this an important view. However, Due to poor weather conditions, those plans changed. Our plans changed because Mother Nature was not cooperating with us that day. Unfortunately, we had very heavy cloud cover and it was a light drizzle, so it just wasn't optimal conditions to see the eclipse. So we decided to watch it um, through live stream. Uh, and it was seen on TVs and in the Promethean boards uh, in the classrooms. As many would expect, students were disappointed with the decision to remain in the classrooms. So I was actually very disappointed because this is a, like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like this doesn't happen for like decades. And I know like of course because of the cloud coverage we didn't get to go like go out and see it. And probably if we went out we wouldn't get to see it anyway. But it's just like the possibility of it possibly happening, like getting to see it, or maybe like going outside and talking about like why you can't see it, like clouds over and all of that stuff. Like I think that just would have been like, you know, better instead of just like staying inside and being sad about it and watching it like the link, like watching a video of it instead. Even though students didn't get to have the full experience, they found ways to make the most out of the situation. Reporting for CETA Media, I'm Ethan Mao. As we near the end of the school year, many sports and activities have wrapped up their seasons. The boys' soccer team set a new record with back-to-back -back tournaments, showings, and advance to the regional tournament. The team fell short in the game, losing to Duncanville, but still claimed the season a major success. Last year, we made it to the regional semifinals, but I feel like a lot of people doubted us, and we were like trying to prove something, and we proved ourselves that um, we were better than last year, and we made it to a regional final. We did our best, and we made school history. Another team that had success this year was the Cy Woods Bowling Club. The varsity team went 10-0 this season and were crowned district champions. This was partly due to increasing the number of people on the team. Last year, we had like only five guys, six guys try out last year. It was basically our team. Uh, this year, we had a whole varsity, JV, and a girls team. So. Having a lot more people this year was a lot cooler than just having six guys. I mean, it was amazing. The team went on to place third at the regional tournament and finished one spot shy of making it to the finals at state. It was a lot of fun. You know, we went up against a lot of really good teams. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'm just really proud of my team for making it that far. Uh, you know, we're um, the district champions. Congratulations to both the bowling team and the soccer team on their accomplishments this season. Participating in these activities keep our Wildcats busy, so when it comes to eating, fast food is an obvious choice. Travis Westbrook takes a deeper look. My favorite fast food is Chick-fil-A. I would say Cane's. Cane's. Taco Bell. I gotta go Cane's. I just love the sauce. Fast food is a popular choice when choosing to eat out. In fact, one out of three Americans choose to eat fast food every day, and each person has a specific order. I get the kids chicken, um, the five count, and I get fries on the side with the Sun Joy. I would mostly get probably the Caniac, switch the coleslaw for extra toast, and give me one extra, um, one extra sauce. And I'd get a six-piece chicken tender Caniac combo with two toasts and two sauces. So why get fast food? For many people, it is quick and easy to get, making it perfect for any occasion. First one would be if I'm here at work and I need to go grab something for lunch really quick, it's just right down the street. Now the other instance is there's one on my way home. So if it's like we just did a show really late at night, that's where I'm gonna stop. And I might at that point add a Baja Blast. Usually if I'm with friends, I'll just be like, it's a Cane's dinner and then we go to Cane's. But despite its popularity, people know it isn't necessarily the healthiest choice. 
I think overall, if there's not a change with like how it's created, like the types of materials they're using, if they don't become like a more like healthier, sustainable thing, I think ultimately it could be like bad for society. They're high calorie, a lot of, a lot of sugar, a lot of stuff that they want you to keep coming back for. So they, it's just not always the best idea if you're trying to be on a diet, stuff like that. Whether you're thinking outside the bun or choose to eat fresh, fast food will continue to be the go-to for our wildcats. Reporting for CW Media, I'm Travis Westbrook. That concludes this episode of CW Today. Since this is the last episode for our advanced AVP class, we wanted to thank everyone for supporting CW Media the past three years. But CW Today is not done yet. There is one more episode next month hosted by the AVP1 students. In the meantime, stay updated on everything happening at the woods by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow us on all our socials. Just look for CW underscore media. Thanks for watching Seed Up Today. This is Jaden Red signing out. And this is Misty Mutters signing out. Remember, Wildcats, go, go the, the extra, extra degree. degree.